you hit the easy button, now I'm about to explode I'm the bomb, you subscribe to Content Overload Check out my channel and download Leave your comments and upload Your thoughts, whatever strikes the heart I told you I was dope from the start Man, start the show Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my own wavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? Someone is always going to end up standing right by the door. I'm just good at making sure it's me. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition. An endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind. Now that isn't 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me, uh, this train... Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street? I'm sorry, mate, that's much right. Bond Street, here. Yeah. Look, it's on the other platform, mate. Which platform, please? Just through there. Thank you. Two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Care for the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys with me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit.
get signed? Not exactly. Um, I'm sorry about before, you know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. I think your boyfriend's an arsehole. <laughs> Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. <laughs> Can I help you with something? Uh, I need a favor. I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <sighs> okay, he doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. <laughs> it's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Before one? Okay. Good boy. What's in it for me? I'll owe you one. One what? One favor. Oh, I know you're good for your favors. You can bank my favors. Fuck. What? It's nothing. Not a scratch, not a stain, nothing, all right? You fiddle with your lipstick outside of the car and you wipe your shoes before you get in. Anything else? Yeah, you're back here by one, not a minute later. Yes, sir. What for? Now! What do you want from me? I want you to tie her up. <laughs> no, I'm not tying anyone up. You're gonna tie her up right now. Look, this is insane. Please! You heard the lady. Come on, mate. Calm down, all right? Shut the fuck up! The security guard pay you enough to be a hero. Get her off! Sorry. You open it up. She goes inside. You're out of your fucking mind! <laughs> Fuck's sake! Right, now you get in the car. Wait, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're gonna do.
fucking student. Okay, I've got no money. My family's got no money. I'm worth nothing to you. Are you done now? Get in the house. the night guard. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice bowl? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. You need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. You stay where you are. Look, you said you wouldn't hurt me. No, I said I wouldn't kill you. That still leaves lots of painful options. Not good at maths, are you, mate? It's not supposed to mean. Minus one, plus one. That makes zero. Yeah, zero problems. Look, you need someone to help you out. And I need someone not to stick a fucking syringe in me. Why on earth would I trust you? Because you don't have a choice. Just like I don't. <sighs> see your point. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, I'm not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. What about the money? Don't push your luck. I'm taking his risk, so I want his share. Fuck off. Shut up, idiot. I'll be worth the money. OK, I'll tell you what, you two split 50-50. That's the deal. Done. You can't do this. It's done. Put this on. You're joking. We'll find you something. <laughs> I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume you're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. 
You know, maybe you got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my left. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. Nine fifty to my left. Do I hear nine sixty? Fair warning. I'm selling. Nine fifty once. Nine fifty twice. So for nine hundred and fifty thousand pounds. This marvelous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is 150 grand for its time. Just Thank try to keep it powder dry. Oh, I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? And so we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tramp. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three simply beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. of a red down. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Yeah, he can't afford it. What did we say about not talking? And so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five, I get 20% of the Thank sale price, don't we? Phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six, I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Mate, Thank you. Stop man. bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Lots of them. Nine, I'm looking for. Price increases on a logarithmic. All around the room. Zero. Nine million to you, sir. Thank you very much. Chance is getting away with another nine million. Nine million. Do I hear nine five? Fair warning. I'm selling. Nine million once. Nine million twice. Sold to the gentleman on my right for nine million times. Thank you very much, sir. Congratulations. Twenty-three percent. I guess we'll never know, will we? Come on, let's get out of here. The wall doesn't tell on mathematics, you know. Yeah, well, mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. OK, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm gonna do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. Just like you did when you stopped my bidding. So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Out of all of the probabilities, how did I end up here? You did well. 
Stop emailing like that. Don't know what I've gotten into her. Follow me. She seems to like the rush. You don't say. Okay, the assistant's packing up. You've got to move right now. Wait here. When Simon gives the word, move out to the middle of the corridor and wait for the guard to come to you. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Simon, please the guard's image. He's not gonna believe that. I'll handle that. Ready? Yeah, ready. Go. Alert the guard or let this play out. I might not get another chance. Right there, Shepard. This is a restricted area. What do you think you're doing down here? I, I got lost coming out the lift. No, this floor's staff only. Oh, I was, uh, I was looking for the toilet. No, you wouldn't have come down here unless you meant to. Thanks, mate. Take him with you. Simon, I'll come to the front to get you. Nothing there. 
ladies and gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the box. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Woo's place and turns it into money. Too fucking right. Go and take a left. Some shortage high street. Hong Kong City restaurant. This sounds classy. What are we going to do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop. Whoa, hold on. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this ball. Jeffrey, you're not serious. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Mei Ling. Mei Ling, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we've got to get out. All right? Fuck. to finish what you started. Mr. Worth? Yeah, well, that was the plan, wasn't it? What do you want to do, Mei Ling? Do you want to stay here? Mei Ling? Look at me. Look at me. You can't not decide, OK? You have to do something. Oh, look. Come the fuck on, okay? We've got to go. Welcome to Hong Kong City. Table for two. We're, uh, we're here to see someone. Table for four. Four on me, please. It's going well. Excuse me. We, uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Bar this way. Four on me, please. No, no, no. Mate, mate, mate. We want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? We want to see the manager. You're not even eating? No. Your health inspector? No. Look, it's Mr. Wu here. Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. Never heard of Mr. Wu. Well, how about the Queen, mate? You heard of her? Memory clearing. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. 
Okay. You, right here. Have fortune cookie. Fortune does not come twice. Misfortune does not come alone. Didn't know any better. I'd say you picked that one on purpose. What does yours say? Not tell him. Four on me, please. Tell me. No. What's your business? Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead, okay? That's why we brought you a bow. My bow? Adam, turn by your way, Managing to steal that ball. It's quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place is nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that ball is not only madness, it is also suicide. To the Troy family, possession of that ball is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. Its price is beyond measure. And I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out! What should we do with her? If the choice catch you with it, you are dead. If you destroy it, you are dead. If you bring it back here, you are dead. Doesn't really answer my question now, does it? Not my problem. Atom, go on, coordinate, hoi. Goodbye. We will not meet again. Do you know about the choice? How dangerous they are? You fucking did, didn't you? You knew everything Wu just told us, and yet you still bid against him and stole that damn bowl! This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. We the plan. What do you suggest? 
Hiding until we come up with one. I know a place. No. No, we go to the police, Mei Ling. Like we should have done in the first place. That's a terrible plan. Well, it's better than hiding away from the inevitable. Look, we need to get rid of this bowl before the choice get rid of us. If we take it to the police, they will arrest us. Not for definite, no. I'll make it an even 50%. You do realize your calculations and my gut are doing exactly the same thing? You just need the numbers to make you feel better. My numbers are based on the information that we have, yeah? And rational mathematical algorithms. Well, my gut feelings are based on experience and my entire subconscious. Do you know how many percent of your brain's activity are conscious? Probably less than one. Now that's a percentage. So trust me when I tell you that going to the police is a bad idea. I believe, Wei, that you knew nothing about the job. You look convincing, didn't you? Yeah, but that's not what I asked you. John, thank you. And good evening from M Channel News. I'm on the <sighs> No, I didn't watch this conversation, mate. I don't know. I thought we were delivering the ball for 20% job done. I should be back at home by now, soaking in the bath. Shit. What? There's no bath. Somebody must want this thing. Why has no one tried to contact us? Is there any way we can get to just phone messages? Or, or, or what about that place in Chelsea? Maybe they've tried to contact us there. Just shut up, could you? Why'd you do that? Because I felt like it. It's getting us nowhere. Music on. It's believed despite the extent of the problem, it was resulted in the hospitalization of three employees. Only one item was stolen from the auction house. A Chinese Mate, it's bowl, us. which had just been auctioned for the reported value of ten million pounds. The criminals left the location in two high performance sports cars and subsequently disappeared. Though an explosion involving a third vehicle, which occurred 20 minutes later, beneath this flyover near Shepherd's Bush, is also thought to be linked to the robbery. How the hell do they know that? An explosion which completely destroyed the vehicle, its contents... The choice will believe the ball's history. Your choice of words. I am deeply, deeply devastated by this event. If the bowl was indeed destroyed, then it is a loss to mankind which transcends value. Oh, yeah. How oh, very the compassionate of him. Wars, well, this bastards. robbery may also be linked to the murder of Anthony Wu, a Chinese restaurant owner with known connections to the criminal underworld whose body was found at... Fucking hell. <sighs> Wu was right about the choice. That's for fucking sure. May, we got him killed by taking it there. And where next? We need to get out of the city. 
Yeah. Yeah, I agree 100%. Are you crazy? Having that is going to get us killed. Well, not having it is what got Wu killed. Hello? Mr. Smith? Yeah? I have some people in the reception. Shall I send them up? There's someone downstairs. Life. The one thing! Why would you do that? It's total madness, tell me why! Because it was a fake. I'm, I'm sorry, what? The ball was fake. Then where's the real one? I don't know. Then how did you know it was a fake? Sorry, Matt, I didn't know the implications. I was lied to just like you. Fuck me. We can still get the real one back and trade it for our lives. But I need your help to get it. Please, you have to trust me. Trust you? Oh, I'm sorry, am I hearing you right now? Okay. Okay, but these are my conditions. Firstly, you tell me everything you know. The whole story. And if I find out you've left out even the slightest detail, I am fucking gone. Secondly, from now on, we do things my way. Okay, I make the decisions and you agree with them. Agreed. Great answer. You start talking. I needed the money. Yeah, don't we all? Who paid you? Samuel Pa. Wait, the guy who was selling the bomb? He couldn't part with it, but he knew the choice would never let him keep it. So he had you forge a copy to sell to the choice? To keep for himself. You didn't believe that though, did you? I believe in the good in people. Well, don't give me this bullshit. Where's he original now? I don't know. must somehow be involved. But why the theft if you could just sell the copy? But he couldn't just sell it. At Haynesworth, they would have found out. Look, you can paint it perfectly you like, but you just can't fake the age of porcelain. Dating is based on the effect called thermoluminescence. Luminescence? Yeah, it is a process to determine when the porcelain is fired. Like in a burning vehicle, you mean? You mean? I don't know. You tell me. Oh my god. If the forgery was retrieved from the van after the accident, it would have been indiscernible from the original. After the accident? It was no accident, was it? That must have been part of the past plan. Come on, let's get out of here. 
Where are we going? Let's pause. He's going to regret this. I won't let him get away with it. Beating up won't solve our problem. Well, it's a start. Matt. Matt, you're not serious. I'm so sorry to call so late, but I'm trying to get hold of Sebastian. Is he home? It's Jane? No, from work. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's terrible. Yes, of course. I'll visit him first thing. I'm so sorry. What the fuck? He's in St. Thomas's Hospital. How is he? He got beaten up, remember? Is he okay? Pretty serious concussion. Did you do that? No, I didn't do that. Jeff getting his kicks. As you can see. W weren't you supposed to be going out? The night somehow started badly. Oh, I'm sorry you got involved. I'm sorry you did. I'm sorry, but we are in a bit of a hurry, darling. Could you tell us which room Sebastian the clerk is in, please? Is he here? Uh, no, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Oh, come on. It's just a room number. Look, I know you wanted to help me out tonight, but I can't give you any information about that patient. So he's here. Oh, fuck, I shouldn't have even told you that. Come on, Matt. Let's try the other bit. Wait. <laughs> Shit. No? She can't tell you anything because he was brought in by the police. She won't be able to tell you he's on the seventh floor, and she certainly won't be able to tell you he's in room 703. What? I didn't tell you anything. So, um, where's the girl? Oh, I know from work. She works here? No, my work. Her boyfriend parks his car there. I see. So jealousy I'm detecting. Oh, you wish.
no one let me use the internet oh my god I know you must be like 80 right no 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 I think I just worked out how Paul got the bowl out of the auction house what come on That's a lie. Wait, wait, wait. Where is the rice bowl? It's stolen. Look at me, I was beaten up. Where is it? Where'd you put the original? I didn't put it anywhere. I know you switched it, Sebastian. Where is him? I haven't taken. This is a definite line. Do I really want to cross this? No, I can't do it. I just can't talk to someone in the hospital bed. Don't you get too comfortable, mate. You're still up to your neck in this, all right? The chores are after anyone who came into contact with their bowl. Now what? Uh, we know he swapped it, but why did he take it? That's right. We do know he swapped it. And he must have reported it to Pa. I don't understand. Look, you're the one who made the thing, okay? So Pa knows you'd recognize it in an instant. What do you think he'd say if he thought Laughing Boy here had fucked up in all the excitement? Let's find out. Mr. Parr, it's moving. It's 5.30 in the morning and he answered on the first ring. He doesn't have it. He's waiting for the news. Yes, I'm still here. What the hell happened tonight? People are dead. I was involved, but the job was a fake, and so was the accident. Just too convenient. The ball in fire, impossible to be dated. I survived the crash, yes. Yes, yes, I did. And it's lucky for you that I did, because your inside man, whoever he was, fucked up. <laughs> oh, stop pretending. I've got the original. I can tell the difference between the original and my forgery, Mr. Pa. I'm calling because I want to make an offer. I'm not... Listen to me. I'm not interested. I don't care. I'm prepared to bring you the original, but I want protection from the choice. Think it over. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, shit. Now, May, I would say somewhat in your best interest to help us stop par. Wouldn't you agree? We? Oui. Where is the original? I don't know, and this is the truth. The security took everything after the robbery and put it in the safe storage. Safe storage? So it's still inside Hainsworth's? Yes.
We have to go back to Ainsworth. Why the hell do we get inside? I don't know. But he does. Will this get us into the vault? If you get to it, we... Fuck is this? Bring you to the lobby of our hotel by nine tomorrow morning. Or the girl dies. Hello. Oh shit. How can I help you? I'm here to pick up an item. What lot was it? Uh, it was an item bought last night by Mr. Samuel Parr. No. No, it's not on my list. Do you have your documentation? I was told my copy will be waiting at this desk. I can't do anything without the lot numbers. Would you like to speak to someone upstairs? No, no. I need to speak to my boss about this. I'll be back. Very well, sir. There is no way I'm getting...
Think you're doing? Your colleague let me in. Who? Mr. Quinn. Mr. Quinn? Mr. Quinn, yeah. <sighs> Wait here. Going down. I'm waiting for someone, thanks. How the hell am I gonna find Van Seven from out here? Good morning. I have an appointment with Samuel Parr. Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. I want to see him, and I want to see him right now. Wait here. Mr. Parr? Mr. Parr, this man says uh, that he thank has you, Willa. I'll take my tea in the study today. Are you intruded at the crack of dawn, my friend? I assume it's urgent. I want the original. The original of what? You know what I'm talking about. Do enlighten me. The rice bowl. The fucking rice bowl. If you're referring to the rice bowl that was stolen from Hainsworth last night, that piece is gone. Lost forever, I fear. That's not true, though, is it? No. Because what was stolen was a copy. The original is safe and in your possession. And you are... Matt. You can call me Matt. Well, Mr. Matt. How did you come by this extraordinary theory? I was standing right next to Mei Ling when she called you. I know the whole story. Oh, really? Yeah. And we were both standing next to Sebastian Leclerc when you called him. So stop with the fucking pretending! D -d 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 language, dear boy. What do you want? I want the original. I thought Mei Ling had the original. Yeah, well, apparently not. Well, as the two of you have so clearly outsmarted me, what can I possibly tell you? Are we going to discuss this sensibly or not? Well, I think perhaps we should discuss it with the police. What do you say to that? Do you have any idea how much that cost? I don't know, mate. As much as this one? No, no, wait. All right. Sensibly. In my study. Yeah. Lead on.
was the bolt? I don't know. Since it was stolen, I've lost track. That's a lie. It's the truth. What do you think the Chores have to say about all of this? <laughs> the Chores will never believe you. I am a respected member of the community, and you clearly are not. Are you willing to take that risk? Tony Wu was a respected member of the community. They had no trouble killing him, did they? I will destroy everything in here. Uh, not now, will I? All right, all right. The bowl is here. I collected the chest last night. Show it to me. This conversation is over. Give me the fucking bowl! I can't give it to you. I can't. So you kill me for it? <laughs> you won't be the first to die for it. There'll be many of you before. You have your fucking mind. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Come here! Come here! Get the fucking cab! Sit down! Sit down! Put your arms down! Put your arms down! Put your arms under there! Ball, you have it. Where? You're dying, but the girl can still live. Where is our ball? We must have it. Where? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>